Let's talk about rolling out the posterior aspect of our shoulder, particularly the rhomboids, levator scapula, as well as the lower traps. And they're the muscles that actually sit between your spine and your shoulder blades. And they're responsible for actually controlling shoulder rotation. And so if we spend a lot of time either forward or just not moving our shoulders back, or we're just taught to pull our shoulder blades back and down, we actually do not have the opportunity for those shoulder blades to glide up and down our spine. And so it's important for us to actually unlock those muscles. So you can take a lacrosse ball, have a peanut here, something that gives you the opportunity to apply a little bit of pressure. And so the focus is going to be the following. You're going to be finding the space between your spine and your shoulder blade. You have your levator scap that's a little bit higher, you have your rhomboid, and then you have your lower traps as well. So you can actually pretty much go up the inner edge of your shoulder blade. And when you do that, what you're going to do is the following. You're going to roll over to your side, place it underneath that shoulder blade area. And if your head can't rest on the floor like this because you're really stiff, you can feel free to put a pillow underneath your head as well. Now, once you're here, what you can do is not having your hand out here because this can be a little taxing. What you're going to do is you're gonna keep your elbow pointing up towards the ceiling as you reach your hand up and back down. And what ends up happening is that we're actually pinning the rhomboids and the lower trap muscles, giving the opportunity for the shoulder blades to rotate up towards the sky. Again, keeping the elbow up this way, allowing yourself to go up and down. And as you're doing this, I want you to envision that your shoulder blades are doing this as you raise your hand on up, because we need to make sure that the shoulder blades are in fact moving as we move our arm. 